Hello. Thank you for joining us at the Capitol Center tonight as we enjoy Ignite 3. When I first heard about Ignite, it was through Facebook. And I thought it was so cool. I got excited every time. And I investigated it. Later on, I'm watching TV. And then there it is, Channel 12, your TV. And I PVR'd it. And I've watched this show a lot of times. A lot of times. Every time... We watch these speakers and they put themselves out there and they share their passions and you're like, wow, I want to do that too. But I can't because what if they judge me? What if they don't like what I'm sharing? What if because I'm a perfectionist, everything breaks around me? So my name is Sue Williams and I'd like to talk to you about facing your fears. Just being here is super scary. So thank you. Thank you for listening. I have a super important question to ask you. Who here is afraid of spiders? Because, and have no shame, I am totally one of you. They will come into my area and I will get upset and maybe freak out a little bit. Just a little bit. And then next thing you know, I have a little person that's screaming, Mom, there's a spider in my room and I now need to face that fear. So... Behind me, there's going to be a slide, and it shows six different things that I feel label fear. And this one falls into the category of the unknown. We can't predict where that little spider went. We don't know what he's up to or her. And so we can't control that situation. Fear gives us fight or flight. And in those moments of fear, I freeze. And if you'll see here, fear is an emotional response by a perceived threat, which impacts how we think and how we act. However, we have beautiful people in our life. And these are some of the people of my tribe, past and present. Because those in our circle lift us up. And they tell us we can be and do anything we want. And that we can accomplish anything. And we do that back. But we contain ourselves in this box. We feel like we have to be what others want us to be, what our parents want out of us, what society expects of us. And we hold ourselves back from our truest potential. We don't push through that fear. And we stop ourselves. So I spoke to a lot of my friends about facing your fears, you know, getting the courage to come and do this. And this is my friend Debbie. She is one and a half years away from teaching at a college level, her business courses. She returned as a mature student, and she shared with me this amazing formula that the desire greater than fear equals success. And it was like, wow, I need to steal that. Can I please? So props to my friend Debbie Jolliker. She said yes, by the way. Every day, it's a journey. When I was younger, I didn't like myself. I didn't even know who I was. And I had to figure that out. And along the way, always stopping myself from doing what I wanted because of my perception of fear. But two years ago, both my lungs collapsed. And I was on life support for five days. I woke up surrounded by family. And in that recovery time, I was reminded of all the blessings in my life. These are my beautiful children. And I decided to life without fear. Because fear of missing out outweighed anything else that would come in my way. To not be around and not enjoy life with them scared me a lot more. So I decided to life without fear. That doesn't mean I'm not scared. It just means that I'm rising above to do anything I want. Because this is my life, and it's my journey, and I will accomplish anything I can do, and you can too, with self-care, self-talk, and self-esteem. So good luck on your journey, and I hope that you'll be able to overcome your fears.